Look at this mess. Who's going to clean it up? I've got just the thing. Uh-oh. Tennis ball. Yeah, oops, it bounced out. This is a can of cat food. Oops, didn't get it. Can of cat food take two. Nope. <laughs> Score. Drive mode, pickup mode, arm down, reverse a bit, claw in, okay, and I go back to drive mode, 
I'm going to go forward so you can see this. Arm, this means get the arm back. It's got kind of a two-step because it was so violent going all the way at first that I decided to put a two-step in. But go, here's the throw. Whoops, see it went right over the top of the backboard. You see the motor right here, that servo, that controls the claw up and down, which is this. It goes quite far. It, has a, it can go 180 degrees all the way around, which is what enables it to throw, because it can go back. Okay, so that's that one. And while we got it up here, let's, let's get you a, a cool view of this compliant claw. This is a one-piece compliant claw, and that's this guy. It's just simply a servo that goes about. Let's get that ball again. Okay. Drive mode. See how it grabs it pretty good. Now the one thing that could be improved is just get some better uh, of the rubber window molding on the on the claws, that'll make it hold things better. Um, so the other interesting thing here is if you see at the base, I'm going to move what I call the B servo, and that now has a spring on it. If you see that spring that's rocking back and forth from above, that helps take the weight off the servo. Just like the other, the big black surgical tube on the A drive, it helps take the weight off of the A servo. That's pretty effective. That really helps sort of make the servos work easier. Now I've got a lot of bearings in here as well, so there's not a lot of friction anymore in the joints. So it's all working pretty smoothly. That's kind of an overview of the changes.